Hey, what's up guys and girls, children, small animals, parakeets, parakeets are good, parakeets count, they're people too, but they're not, whatever, let's stop. All right, today we've got a super episode for you, yeah, you see what I did there? Because what I'm doing, I'm previewing soups, okay? I got three different kinds here, and uh, just to let you know on a secret, I do love a good soup. All right, I'm very fond of everything from the broth based to the cream based and everything <clears throat> in between. I do have some uh, reservations about certain kinds and that's fine. I won't get into that right now. We may delve into one that doesn't seem particularly nice to me, but hey, what are we gonna do? Okay, so we got three kinds of soup here. Now, the one in the middle, you see, I've, already, I've got it in its container. Uh, the other two, I'll explain in a second, but their containers weren't uh, weren't friendly for this, but that's fine. <clears throat> Got one in a Tupperware, one in the natural bowl. So the three kinds of soups we have here today, we've got kicking crab and corn chowder. This is from the Campbell's, I believe it's the slow cooker um, style. It comes in the, the container with the black lid and it looks all nice and stuff, but I enjoy crab. I enjoy chowder. Uh, normally, it's the clam chowder base variety, but hey, crab and chowder, that works for me, so I'm gonna give it a go. This one, as you can see, is the home style creamy gouda bisque. Always love a bisque uh, with chicken. So, can't go wrong with chicken, crab, chicken, both are cream based. Both cream based. If you take a look at the, the photos, you'll see them in a little bit more detail. Um, and then on, on a couple of them, I got pictures of me uh, holding the container so you can see a little bit better exactly what you'd be looking for if you decide you want to give it a, give it a try. All right. And this last one on the end is, I believe it's just the chunky style mushroom and Swiss burger. Okay. Here's an interesting story. Um, I looked this one up on the internet. Um, back in the late 1700s, uh, a group of American campers were in the Swiss Alps. Uh, camping through uh, for the night, not up high, you know, you don't want to go up too high because it gets really cold, I guess. I've never been, but I've, I've heard things. Um, camping through, and they got lost. They were lost for um, hours and hours, it seems. I think it was roughly about a 24-hour time. All they had with them to eat, because they, uh, they didn't think it was going to be a long trip. It's a hiking trip. You don't hike for days and days. You hike for one day, you go home. So all they had with them, with some blocks of Swiss cheese. It's, you know, they had, you know, Swiss in the Alps, whatever, you know, you get Swiss cheese. It's a, it's a kind of a, a thing you do. So all they had was the Swiss cheese. What are we gonna do? We can't find our way back. We're lost. We might never, never survive. How are we gonna eat? What are we gonna drink? Well, they, you know, find a stream, get some water. But the, the cheese wasn't gonna do enough for them, so. They, they rummaged around, and ultimately, they found some indigenous mushrooms. One of the campers saw, you know, saw something in a book that said the mushrooms were okay to eat. Uh, so they figured, hey, mushrooms, the Swiss, let's give it a try. If not anything, it'll keep us alive. They try it. Woo! Man, did they love it. So much so, they thought, mmm, this would go good on a burger. Mmm. Or this might go good in a soup. True story. So, looking at my three soups here, um, I'm just gonna go left to right, you know, no big deal. Um, so let's try the kicking, kicking corn chowder. I got my trusty spoon, uh, cause I'm not gonna eat with my hands. I'm not a savage, people. I'm not a savage, all right? I live the civilized life, spoons. All right, so let's give it a go and see what happens. Ooh. Now, before I say this, um, I am not the biggest fan of anything that has the word kicking on it or spicy or hot. Um, I'm just not a fan of hot, spicy stuff. I guess getting my old age, I'm, uh, I'm a taste buds are almost non-existent. Um, not from anything I've done bad or wrong. It's just I, uh, I can't really. I think ketchup might be too spicy for me. If that's your thing. 
Um, so we're going to try a bit of this kicking corn chowder and hope that I survive. That's always going to be a plus because I got two more soups to eat. <laughs> Looking forward to it. All right, here we go. Forgive me if I take big bites because I like to get as much as I can in my mouth. Um, let's swirl it around a bit. Incorporate the, the juices and the creams and the crabbiness. A bit of the corn. Okay, let's hopefully got some crab in there because if I don't, I'm going to be highly disappointed. It's dripping. It's dripping. Okay. Here we go. Mm. 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 Not too bad. I taste the crab. Taste the crab. The spice is not as, or the kicking is not as kicking as I expected. I mean, it's a little spice. You know, more likely it's, you know, a little hint of you know some uh, cayenne pepper or red pepper flakes or something as you cook it. Um, but not, not overwhelming, definitely not overwhelming. And believe me, if it were spicy overwhelming, <laughs> oh, that's another thing right out of here. Oh, can't, I don't want to mess up. Pool. But I'm going to take one more quick bite before I move on to my next one. Mm. Mm. Very creamy, very tasty. Mm. Very good, very good. I would like to eat the whole thing right now, but I can't. Uh, cause I got two other things and, um, uh, dinner. I'm good. <laughs> just going to eat these. <laughs> but not right now. All right, so let's move that away. Hmm. Kicking corn chowder. Kicking crab and corn chowder. Not too bad. A little messy. Uh, well, my mustache and beard getting away. That's okay. Uh, I want to take a moment here to bring in one of our sponsors. Cups. They hold beverages so I don't have to lick it off the floor. Cups. Hmm. Cleanse the palate a little bit, get ready for, ready for the next go round. Mm, that's tasty. Mm. Okay, thank you, Cups. You're a scholar and a gentleman. All right, so let's go with the next one the creamy, creamy Gouda. I, I'm okay. Uh, I'm a American slices, occasionally good Swiss. Um, Gouda, Gouda is not my thing. Not to say that I don't like it, but I just haven't eaten a lot of it. So I'm anxious to see what it's all about. And yes, before you say anything, yes, I am using the same spoon that I use for the other one. Because you know what? Like my daddy always said, it's all going to the same place. And it's not going to mess up the flavors because, you know, it's, you know, it's Gouda. I'll be able to taste Gouda, I guess. All right. Work it around a little bit. You know how we do. Work it around. All right. Now, normally with a bisque, you're not going to get as chunky as with a chowder. Chowder was pretty chunky, so a bisque is going to be a little bit more soupy. Uh, but I can see, um, I don't know what's in there. Looks like there might be, my God, I think I got a piece of chicken, maybe a bean? I don't know. I have to look at the recipe or look at the ingredients. I don't do these things ahead of time. I just eat. All right, here we go. Creamy Gouda. Hmm. Hmm. Well, first time eating any considerable amount of Gouda, it's got a smoky, smoky flavor. Um, I wasn't expecting that. Almost like it's a, like it's a, um, a, a musky, uh, is musky a good, no, I don't think musky is a good word. Kind of a, a thick, thick smoke flavor to it. I taste a little bit of the chicken, but obviously with something like this, you're going to get more of that, that, sorry, I don't know what that was, more of the, uh, the Gouda because that's the, the main go-together. One more bite and we'll move on to the mushroom Swiss. Mm. Mm. Not bad, not bad, definitely, definitely good. Gotta get the remnants off. Again, look away. Clean spoon. Um, so that's not too bad, not too bad. The uh, creamy Gouda with chicken. A bisque. I do enjoy a bisque. I do, do enjoy a good lobster or crab bisque. Ain't nothing wrong with bisque in that respect. But lobster crab's my thing. I like seafood. Anyhow, moving on to the last. The Mushroom and Swiss Burger. Now, I've had these ch chunky soups before. And the burger ones, you know, they got the little pieces of... Let's see if I can find one. Little pieces of meat. Um, maybe you can see that. Little piece of meat. 
in the shape of a burger. It's kind of kitschy. You know, it's it's one of those things where you really didn't need to have to make it into a burger form. But whatever works. I guess we want people to think or feel like they're eating actual mushroom and Swiss burger. Now, one thing I do like is kind of the... Um, the uh, the way soups are kind of going, uh, kind of out of the box, uh, you know, with the the kicking crab and the the creamy gouda bisque. You know, no one would thought gouda. It was always, you know, the Campbell's brand of chicken noodle soup, um, beef vegetable, whatever. Uh, pardon me, it comes with the eating and thing. Okay, so I like when they, you know, I like chunky soups. I like when it comes out with the uh, different kind of flavors. So let's see what we got going on here with the mushroom and the Swiss. Mmm, let's make sure we get make sure we get one of those burgers. It's like a like a also some potatoes in here. Looks like possibly some beans. Don't know what that has to do with mushrooms and burgers, but whatever. Okay, so I got some potatoes, I got some other stuff. It's tripping. Here we go. Mm. Mm. I have to say that. With the, the, the more of the exotic styles of soups, these regular old soups kind of fall by the wayside. The flavor is not great. Um, I mean, you can taste the burger part, but it's not overwhelmingly, overwhelmingly mushroom. It's not overwhelmingly Swiss. I mean, it doesn't taste like regular cheese, American cheese, cheddar cheese, you know, the normal cheeses. But it's not like, oh my gosh, Swiss. You know, it's not an overwhelming thing like that. Let me go one more bite and I'm out. Mm. 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 Yeah, again, it's not bad. I mean, I'd eat it again if I did have these two sitting next to me. Ooh, you guys win. But other than that, I mean, it's good. It's okay. You know, I'd, I'd give it a you know six, seven out of ten, whatever. Uh, Kicking, you get a nine out of ten. Gouda, I'm going to give you 8 out of 10 because Gouda is kind of a weird flavor, but I'd, I'd eat it right now. But I'm not going to. <laughs> but I am going to say adieu, cups, say adieu to you today. I'm a bit out of time. But I just want to say if you like what you're seeing, if you like following me and my food escapades, you can follow me on Twitter. You got a Facebook page. Um, I got other type of social media stuff going on, but I'll get that all out to you. But Twitter. Um, Timmy, Timmy Eats World Facebook page, Timmy Eats World uh, you'll like it again I'm Timmy P and I'm having a super day <laughs> okay, enough of my stuff Okay, take it easy, ciao
Okay. Check and wreck it. Let's begin. All right. You guys still here? Sorry, what am I on my 13? I'm on almost 14 minutes. I'm going to cut because I got to upload this later. Mm. No!